All right. It's the day of the 11th, and uh, it's cleanup day. I didn't really feel right uh, recording any of the other days. So, here's where we are. You can kind of see the land. So, taking down all the tents. Out there is the white marker. And our other white marker is on the other side of those gentlemen. That shows the box. There's a marker. We're gonna do is we're gonna break some stuff down and uh, you know see how peaceful it is. If uh, some of the guys want to come up and say hi, they will. We had a lot of people here. A lot of people already left. The people that are here, are the people that endured. They were here from day one to the end. Just as the law states. For those of you that left, thank you for attending the Passover, but it wasn't a party. I hope you all had fun. I hope you all learned stuff. And everything will continue. Just make sure you're in. Shalom. Uh, my name is Albert. Uh, I was I'm live in North Dakota from Arizona. Came down. I got a bend down. <laughs> um, came here for the Passover. Had a great time. Met a lot of brothers, a lot of sisters. Um, stuck through the whole thing. Some people left early. That's the way it goes sometimes. Made a lot. Met a lot of new faces. Um, saw a lot of miracles. Rain, rain got stopped at one point. Rain, it was raining, and then we all came together, prayed to the Most High, Heya Heya. Rain stopped, like, like that. Um, then one night there was another miracle. Uh, we were looking at all the stars in the sky. One brother bought, brought out a telescope. I was telling the whole story, y'all gonna miss it. Started to point the telescope in looking at stars. All of a sudden, the Most High sent a black cloud, literally a black cloud, in front of the in front of the stars. Swept up all the stars, made it black. He didn't want us to look. He didn't want us to see that. So he turned he turned everything off, and it was pitch black after that. Um, just a couple of the miracles. Stay in tune. Keep reading that word, and uh, all praises. Hey, hey. More than ten days, and we still here on the last day on our way out. Peace. <laughs> ah. Get in there. Shalom, y'all. It's Adrian here. Came for the Passover as well. My buddy Joe. He camera shy though. But like Alba was saying, did experience miracles. No joke. I'm the baby of the group, y'all. <laughs> Feel me, so just had to show my face on time. On time. Shout out to Lex, man. You know what I'm saying? Nobody had to do this. Like he really, he really gave all his effort for this. I appreciate him for that. I mean, a lot of good people here too. Like I want to take this experience back for nothing and nobody. I'm glad I came and was a part of this. This is real historical event. Like. <laughs> Get some amazing stuff out here. Seeing some amazing things. Got brown. All praises, man.
Oh, Vinny was, I left one there for a second. Oh, uh, Shalom. It's Lewis. I made it. <laughs> no, nah, um, stayed like the whole two weeks, really. Um, I'm from Baltimore. It's like more kind of like survival of the fittest. You know, only strong ones survive. You know, uh, it's being the first time. We experienced some stuff that we ain't expect to happen. But, you know, we're more prepared for the next time. Everything's going to be perfect. Most of our willing, of course. Yeah, I mean, we came out here, we had fun, got a good experience in. Uh, I look forward to the next time, and hopefully everybody else do too. Guys, gonna do this? No? I did. When you get home and you see it, you, you know, there's no chance, dude. You can't go back. Can't go back. This is your moment. Control what you talk about. I just control if it goes up. So long, um, tribes. Up. I don't care what you say. Um, this was a uh, great experience for me um, due to the fact that one, I never camped before. Two, I never uh, done anything that involved, uh, you know, the nation and whatnot. And uh, you know, I was uh, surrounded by good people. Some weren't, but uh, most were. Um, this is a situation where um, the rain came up on us, and we had to work, and uh, we uh, decided to try to pray to the Most High and ask if uh, He would clear the skies for us uh, when rain. And uh, it actually stopped raining. It's kind of a shocker, you know. It was uh, it was crazy. Um, a lot of things occurred. Um, we were infiltrated by the enemy a few nights. Um, there was jets flying around us at 5 a.m. in the morning. Um, yeah, it was just a lot of crazy stuff, but it was a great experience, you know, and uh, I appreciate it, you know. All praises to Hey Heya. Um, glad that uh, Flex was able to uh, help me with my vision and uh, as far as, like, uh, the proper direction, you know, my tunnel vision was quite, quite small, so. Um, but once again, I just wanted to give all praises to Haya, and uh, just trying to keep it as short as possible. I know my face is quite ugly. Um, you guys have a good one. over here dismantling some stuff. Once you use a tent for three weeks, it's no longer very viable.
<laughs> like every place in America, or should I say on Earth, is always somebody trying to sow discord. It did happen, but, you know, like I said earlier, only the strong survived. The tough people made it through it, and everybody who was weak proved it. Shalawan, Joseph here, by way of Atlanta, came to attend the Passover, seen a lot of amazing things happen out here, met a lot of amazing families and brothers, stuck it out through the end, you know, just had a great time. Hey, Shalom. My name is Vontae from Florida. Uh, enjoyed the Passover. Bounced down Utah. Went to uh, Zion. Checked out Bryce Cain. A few of the other holy sites. And uh, just got got to see what uh, he uh, made. A lot of good art, you know. <laughs> good time out here in Utah. A lot of beautiful scenes. Can't wait to come back. Hey everybody, I was just coming to let y'all know we made it to the Passover. Everything was good when it's planned. Thank y'all. Shalom to all my Hebrews out there. Uh, I came out here for the Passover. I endured 12 days out in the desert. I walked to the top of the Mount Zion. Uh, two of my fellow Hebrews here, and uh, overall, it was a great experience. My first time camping, I got a chance to build some things, and uh, beautiful experience. Come out next year. All the metal into the fire. Hey, who's up? Who's up? Come on, Corral. Uh, I've already been in. Huh? Girl already did it. I already said my say. Who else? I said something like Yes, it's good to meet family and all, and it's excellent to take pictures out here. There's so many different sites, so many different things you probably never got to see. I'm glad I got the experience for myself, first-hand experience, and also to say that I made it all the way through. That's good. I forgot, uh, I need to backtrack on uh, the words I said um, as far as there was a lot of good people and some weren't, but um, that was just my opinion, you know, within the heart. I'm sure that they were good mentally and, you know, spiritually, but uh, it was just some people who just abandoned. Um, not saying that all of that did or bad, but uh, 
it was just something that left me hanging and dry, but there was, there's still love, you know, um, I have to have that, you know, rather than hate my heart because, uh, you know, hate sinks, you know, love floats, um, but I just wanted to clear that up because, uh, it was just my opinion, you know, everyone who attended was good, people who left early are still good, um, I just, uh, once again, give praises to, uh, Heya and, uh, made it all the way through. Peace out. All right, I'm over here with Joe and Albert, and uh, we had a uh, pretty amazing time. Uh, Joe, what's the first thing that you learned? Uh, before before we even got out here, you contacted me and, and you were like, "Hey, guess what?" Uh, it was so much. I'm I'm at a loss right now. Oh, the mark. The mark. Yeah. So, you want to show him your mark? Yeah, that's cool. Got a mark right of oh, orientation. So, right here. And he has the mark to show he can hold the pass over. Now, when you get close to a lot of the people that came, you find out that they are full of what you don't see that much is freckles. And a lot of the things that we discussed were about the Levites and how the Levites would have freckles. Uh, amazingly, the highest percentage of groups that we could assume was here were Levites. If we go by Judeans being dark, uh, Israelites being uh, light, uh, there were more Levites than Judeans, more Levites than then uh, Ephraimites. So we'll take we'll take that term as as, as uh, you know. Um, we read a few different scriptures together, a few different chapters actually, out of different books: Exodus, Nehemiah, Jeremiah, um, Genesis. We had a long day in Genesis. Uh, <laughs> We learned what happened to Judah and when you look at this powder, you figure out what happened to Judah. <laughs> encourage everyone to read their Bible. Oh, I'm seeing to stop. Okay, it's still going. We encourage everybody to read their Bible. A lot of people ran around saying, 
I'm Judah, I'm Judah, I'm Judah, especially before this. That Bible, so many Judeans are destroyed. It's a lot to learn about Judah. It truly is. Um, why don't we do something? Why don't we run? Why don't we go over to the post? Hey guys, can somebody run over to that white post? Thanks, Kenny. Can somebody go to that other white post? And I'm gonna hold the camera to mark how wide everything is. Thanks, guys. Okay, so we're out here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to turn back. If you can see, you can see. If you can't, you can't. And once you start seeing everything, it's, you're in a bowl. You're in a bowl. And it's surrounded by mountains. Surrounded by mountains. All right. All right, here's the markings of the land. All right, there's the dirt road. Dirt road comes to there. I'll walk around this bush. And you can see Kenny all the way out there. Wave! Thank you, that's all! Come on in! So, there's Kenny. That's how far the land goes. And then we're gonna go all the way over here. We walk past all this. And Tim went out to the other pole for us. So this is all the land. You can see Kenny still walking back in. And there's Tim out there. Tim! See Tim waving? Come on in! Thank you! So, that is the distance. Of the land. Now, somewhere right down here. Just making sure it's still going. Haven't charged it for a while. Somewhere right around here is the marker. Just go up and find the marker. There it is. See the little land marker? And that little land marker. Starts Garden Valley Ranchos, lot blah blah blah. So, those are the distances. The land out there, the little white pole over there, where he's walking right there, is the other white pole and where the red car is. That's it. Mark, that's a great purchase. The other night, my mom. And everyone else saw these llamas come out. They all went and did a meet and greet with all the llamas and stuff. And all the way down this road is a rancher that has the llamas. You know, and uh, basically, they went down there, played a little petting zoo. And again, mountains, 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 mountains. Mountains, 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 mountains. That like a dump truck is how we found which road it was. It is hard to find. But once you got it, it's there. You know, there's nothing, nothing stopping you. So, uh, I don't know. I felt it was not right to to record uh, until now. So. As we're all need a hand. Probably. Hey, Corral, can you help them? Thank you. Uh, everybody's been nice. Everybody's been great. We've had some problems. Those problems left. You know, um, couldn't have done this without everybody that was here. I can't help how some people came. Can't help how some people left. I know some people could not afford this. 
I couldn't have afforded this without all of the help from other people. So, I want you to understand, thank you. We can't do anything without each other. From all the people that were a blessing, even to the people that were problems. Could not have done it without them. There weren't many problems. I'd like to thank Otis. Me and Otis had some problems, but without Otis, we wouldn't have been able to do this. Uh, I'd like to thank you, Zid. Without you, Zid, we wouldn't have been able to, be able to do this. I'd like to thank Arcelero and Shri. Without our Silro and Jury, we would not have been able to do this. I'd like to thank the Chapman for life. Without the Chapman brothers, the guests would have had tremendous issues day and night. The sacrifices that each of these people made was truly tremendous. It put pressures on all of us. To a degree, we have no idea what it's going to be like when we all go back. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we've had Ephraimites, Levites, We've had Judites, we've had a Moabite here, we've had Benjamite, we've had so many. And we've also had Edom. And Edom took the time to trample on us like a wild boar. This was... <laughs> It was amazing. My son, he's been sick two different times, three different times. And he's struggled through this with smiles. My family went through a lot. They have survived. I can't tell you if we've gained or if we've lost. I don't really think it matters. All right. Now, when we came, we assigned things for different people to do based on what their skill and based on what they brought. And right now, we're standing at the grave and the altar. Now, you understand what happens when you sacrifice an animal and leave the body in a fire pit, throw the rocks on top and everything with blood, even you get a grave. Now, when I'm standing in the sun, it's hard for me to see how much of it is out of the You lies, Boaz. The sacrifice that our Silaro brought for 2019. We know a thousand years have been added. There's no point in going over that. Now, here's the altar that was built. And quite good enough. We adhered to some laws, we broke some laws, but we made a successful attempt. You can see how the land looked when we got here, nothing but shrubs, bushes, cactus, 
You know, you see what I know. It's wide open. Very few things to clean up. Well, we're breaking down tents. We're all getting ready to go back. People that came on buses are going back to get a hotel till their bus leaves. Everybody that came with rental cars or, or, or by plane and got a rental car will be doing the same thing. Everybody else is going to be taking off. One thing everybody has already asked me, are we doing this again next year? Ladies and gentlemen, we haven't even left. In these 12, I'm going to do it again. That's right. There are 13 of us here. Minus the women, including my son. I cannot help how odd the numbers have to be. They are what they are. We understand the importance of being here. And this dust, it's not soil, it is cremated red men. I will be bringing this up many, many times. It is cremation ash. What's going on here is this place was destroyed. Everyone and everything in it is turned to a powder, a red powder. This stuff looks brownish, but once the rain or water hits it, it turns red like blood. This dust is in every speck of us. It's in our asses, it's in our ears, it's in our throats, it made us sick. It congested us. And this is how you get by the plague. You're too busy suffering from something else. Now I understand him and what he did and what he's doing. Yesterday we had a big storm. It ripped our camp to shit. I had my own little Jim Carrey moment, bitching and crying. Then we got in the car and we drove to the city. And we saw that all their corn froze and broke. We saw the food got wasted and trashed. So do I give a fuck about Tent City that got destroyed? Or do I care that their, their food got destroyed? Most high is very dangerous. It's very dangerous. These people out here will have to spend money just to eat. Then that's their extra money that they would have spent for water. Nothing grows out here. Everything has to be shipped in. From the grass that they plant in squares to feed the animals to everything else. It'll all be washed. No. <laughs> that will work. Back to the books. And we execute more plans. More holy days. This couldn't have been done without you. Be done without you next year. We've seen many people have the mark. We've seen people without the mark. We 
wish they had them. Since we've been here, many people have stated next year I'm calling the Passover. And many of those do not have the mark. That's encouraging. Because last year, there was no Passover. The year before that, there was no Passover. We came out here, lived, cooked, ate, not catered. We made bread in the dirt. It was amazing. Never going to be able to have this uh, this moment again within this year. Carpe diem. <laughs> We seize the day. Those of you that said, I'm coming, and didn't come, very discouraging. Those of you that lived close, and wanted to come last minute, this is kind of trifling. I've been out here weeks. I know there's people who went to Vegas, didn't come. It's become what it's become. I would suggest that we end communication. Because people came from all over the country. And if you didn't want to attend your creator's birthday party, then don't communicate with me. Those of you that couldn't come, whatever, you'll have to deal with that between you and your creator. I'm a man. And when people let me down, I become angry. I'm disconnected. So if some of us lose connection, you know, 